even worry about Kobe tonight, guys. I'm gonna lock him down, baby. They ain't gonna know where to hit him. You feel me? Yeah, buddy. It's Johnson A312, the biggest boss on YouTube. Bring you guys an NBA 2K13 My Career gameplay and get that out of here, Kobe. Don't come up with those weak layups. As you've seen at the beginning of the game, Kyle Watson getting his team motivated, taking on that leadership role, letting them know that he got this and that get the three pointer right in Steve Nash's face. But letting his team know that he's going to take on that role of guarding Kobe because Kobe is a definitely a difficult person to guard. Especially in this game, superstars are just beasts in this game, which was rightfully so because, you know, to guard them full court like this in real life is very difficult. But you see me playing good defense, get Kobe to go back court, getting him frustrated. He's already arguing with the referees. And that's what you want to do, man. But you see me bodying him up at the three point line, trying to stop this fast break. But doesn't matter. Kobe goes and manhandled me in the paint, did a layup. So I'm like, all right, okay. Got to play better defense than that. Then next, you know, he gets this easy jump shot. And I'm like, all right, you know what? Stop all this. Hit him with a crossover. Go straight to the paint. Get a one hand dunk on him looking like a young Kobe out there hitting Hakeem Warwick setting the screen he passes up the low pass I call for the hoop got that one again looking like a young Kobe out there but better goes to the paint Hakeem Warwick blocks that one going down on a fast break you know what time it is wah, wah, wah. really really that's what's up all right they call me for the charge it is what it is but anyways you see Kobe sagging off on defense I throw up a three-pointer got that one put my team up by three and now we got a good back and forth sequence between Kobe and myself. Definitely play bad defense right there and Kobe makes me pay. Gets a two hand dunk. But again, not to be outplayed. I go behind the back, one hand dunk. Boom shakalaka! Bad defense equals good offense. But like I said, again, back and forth sequence, Kobe with the alley-oop. Just play bad defense. Tried to make up where with good offense. Get an alley-oop myself. Trying to show up the teacher with a reverse dunk see if we can go to LA and get a win but Kobe's on the fast break three people on him he still shoots I block it the Kim Baby tumble blocks it I'm sorry Austin River I get the rebound see what I can see on the fast break I see the brow trailing on the right side I throw up the alley-oop and he gets it and dunks it let's go but in the third quarter got 29 points seeing if I can get Kobe out the game I go to the basket get a dunk that's his fifth foul I want you guys to take a look at this replay when I go up for this dunk Kobe basically turns sideways in midair. I've never seen that animation before, but I get the dunk on him anyways. And we go to the free throw line. We're going to turn that two to three. Got it. But again, Kobe Bryant, not to be outdone. He goes to get me with the pump fake. Gets the nice shot. That's a veteran move. Got to respect it, but he's trash talking down the court. Can't trash talk me like that. So I call for the ISO. Get him at the top of the key. Hit him with a couple crossovers. Go to the basket. Picks up his sixth foul. Kobe Bryant is out of the game. Goodbye, Kobe. You had a good game. 19 points. Not that bad. But I go to the basket. Tried to get him a spin dunk, but it didn't work. So I get a spin layup. We take it. It was baby soft, but I'll still take that bucket. But it's a nine-point game. Three minutes left in the fourth quarter. Got Steve Nash on me behind the back going to the basket. One hand tomahawk. But we went to LA. Got the win. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please vote for me. Check out my channel. I just want to thank everybody for watching. I'm out. Peace. After an impressive all-Madden undefeated season, including a victory in Week 14 over my Buffalo Bills, the Jacksonville Jaguars await us in the AFC Conference game. Our only obstacle right now is the Denver Broncos in the divisional round for the rematch of the century. After benching Ryan Fitzpatrick, we lost C.J. Spiller last week on this screen pass, and we're still without Stevie Johnson and Donald Jones for this week's game. We brought back veterans like T.J. Hushmanzada, Plexico Burris, Jabbar Gaffney, and Thomas Jones to fill those gaps. Can we defeat Peyton Manning a mile high and advance on to the conference championships? Not with plays like that, Willis McGahee breaking tackles in for the score, and it's early lead for the Broncos. The Bills will answer back on this drag pass too. TJ Hushmenzada, who will beat everybody to the pylon, and it'll tie things up at 7. Next drive for Peyton Manning and the Broncos. He's going to drop back, and ever the surgeon, he'll find Jacob Hester. He'll break the tackle, and he'll get in. Broncos take the lead right back. Josh Johnson, he's trying to institute a drive. DJ Williams denies him with that pick. He gets out to the 25-yard line before being brought down. 
And the Broncos are in another great position to score once again with 10 seconds left before the half. Manny on the shotgun, four wide. He's going to step back and he's going to find Demarius Thomas on the diving catch. Make it a 17-point game. Josh Johnson trying to make it a two-possession game, making up for his interception. He's going to find Plexico Burris on the run, make it a 10-point game. Peyton Manning, he's going to find Brandon LaFell on the very next possession. LaFell's going to break the tackle. He's got blocking, and he's going to beat everybody into the end zone for the touchdown. Back up to 17. Injury timeout. Down by 17, Johnson's going to take a huge drop back. He's going to find Plax on the streak, and Plaxico Burris is going to avoid the tackle, and he is gone 74 yards. And just like that, the Bills are back into it. After a good stop, the kick from Prater is drilled, making it a 10-point game once again. Bills have to drive down the field. It's complete to old man Gaffney. He's going to break the tackle, and he is going to make it a one-possession game once again. Down by three. Two minutes left, third and five. Man, he's going to drop back. He's going to find Demarius Thomas, and he is stopped short of the first down. That's a fourth and inches. First play after the punt. Johnson's going to drop back. He doesn't go for the screen. It's intercepted by Robert Ayers, intended for Scott Chandler, and this game should be all but over. We have one timeout left. There are our 33, but instead Peyton Manning going back deep with it, trying to run up the score like an asshole, that is incomplete. Next play, it's complete to Demarius Thomas. That's going to be our second, that's going to be our final timeout. Third and three, it's going to be a play action fake. He's going to get sacked. It's a fourth and eight from the 30. Matt Prater, he's going for the field goal. If he drills this, it's going to be a six point game and we'll have 40 seconds. And he kicks us up and it is wide right. We will get the ball back on our 37 yard line with 39 seconds left. Second and 12 from the 35. Johnson, five wide. Time to institute that fourth quarter two-minute drill. Johnson, he's going to step back. Who's he going to find? He's going to find LaMichael James for the first down after the 47-yard line. Clock is ticking. Tick, 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 tick. Bills adjusting the play on the line. Lineman getting back. Johnson, five wide still. He's going to step back. He's moving left. He's going to air this one up to Scott Chandler. It is caught, and he is brought down on the 38-yard line inside 20 seconds left. The Bills have to get back to the line. There is no time to waste. We have no timeouts left. Johnson Hill hike it. He's going to move right. He's going to drop back to midfield. He airs this one up to Gaffney, and it is caught, and he goes out of bounds on the 11-yard line with seven seconds left. Johnson, three wide. Ball is snapped. Johnson's going to drop back. He's going to find Hushman's on it. And for the touchdown, and the Bills take the lead with two seconds left. They are going to make it to the championship game. The kick from Carpenter, it's a squib. Jacob Tammy will recover it, and he is brought down, and that is your ball game. The Bills win 38-34 in a late fourth quarter drive by Josh Johnson. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm Moonlight Swami, and I'll be talking to you guys later. Peace, I'm out.